Let's see here. All right. It's definitely light, so. Ta-da! Nice, K2. Look at that. Snow about that. And that's what we got going on here. It's a dealio from K2. It's a well done bog. See that? Yeah. I guess you can put your uh, sensor through here and tighten it down. So that way uh keeps it nice and fresh. This boots what's up to the to the charge pipe. This one screws on and this one goes like that, see? It's got a seal up in here. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make this happen. First I have to turn the charge pipe off. Once I take it off, then I gotta take it in and get it welded. So, stay tuned, homeboy, homegirl, K2 for the win. Alright. Alright. Nice, nice. Alright, guys, so we got this fitting, we got the sensor pulled in, so I'm gonna show you really quick how it goes. Gotta get the idea. Very smart how K2 designed this, very cool. So, it's pretty much four things, as you can see right here. There's one, two, three, four, and they got the sensor, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and set this and I'll show you. Okay. Usually the sensor, it's got little fits, got four of them, so you gotta trim them around. And you got this thing right here, right? Now, as you can tell, it's got a rubber seal right there, can you tell? It's got the rubber seal. The edge of this is gonna rest right on the seal. See that, it kinda seals it. Then. You have this O-ring that goes over the top, which it fits perfectly around the sensor. You see that? Then what you have <coughs> is a compression type. This that goes over. See that? It goes over, and you tie it down. Now, what you got is this piece right here. This piece is the one that screws on into here. See that right there? Look at that. That's kind of how we have it and you plug it in. Now, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to weld this to the charge pipe, which I went ahead and I took the charge pipe. We're gonna go ahead and take this out so I can show what I'm talking about. Well, first of all, that's kind of how it's gonna go. See, I made a hole right there. And you can tell the sensor, see that? Got the little nipple. And it's gonna go right there. And we're gonna weld it right there and then just paint it after that. But what I did right here, you can tell I kind of shave a little bit the sides, two sides, so it actually can be more flush. See that? See that? So you can tell it's a little bit more flush right there. See that? So when you weld it, you don't have a lot of gap to build in. And then weld it, we're gonna put it on, and I'm gonna show you how it looks once it's done. I'll paint it, put it up. Just wanna uh, see that K2. Awesome product, and I'm really thankful. I'm gonna go to do this. So, we're not gonna have boost proof anymore. I'm gonna get it done right away. Oh, it's still recording, huh? Yo, yo, we got the live Instagram up in here, and we got this sensor, the intake air temperature sensor, and then we got the bung all welded up, I put the blob out back in, as you can tell, mm -hmm. my boy Travis welded up all nice, and I got the sensor all inside the fitting, and all we gotta do is just 
how to screw it on in there. Once you screw it on, it should be like good to go. So, yeah, buddy. And then we're just gonna mount this pipe back on the car and we're good to go. Yo, yo. So we got this fitting up in here. We're gonna twist it a few times. Now you gotta watch it because this is aluminum. So you don't wanna strip it, you know? You see what I'm saying? Plus you don't wanna damage the fitting. Hopefully I don't have any boost leak with those fittings, you know? There you go. Can you see that right there? And what we got going on here, see that? I put that fitting in there. And we got the sensor. You put the sensor right inside, see that? Nice and clean. And you have this O-ring. This O-ring goes right over the sensor. And then you have this compression kind of type deal that you just create on there. And you can kind of loosen it, kind of however you want to twist the sensor. If you want the sensor this way, that way, so I won't make it tight, tight. But it's pretty much it right there. You see it? I wall it up. So, let's set up here, K20, turbo, precision, 62-66, and what we worked on is the intake air sensor, temperature sensor right there, that's the one we want that on, well, I think we that on, my buddy Travis did, did awesome work, uh, with a fitting from compression type, uh, from K-Tune, kind of say I'm kind of excited, came out really good. I think that's a really great spot right there and uh, I think if you guys supercharge your car or uh, decide to uh, run it the same route I did it that's a very uh, good way it's kind of nice and tucked underneath the radiator hose not above the hose maybe it's a little bit lower than I anticipated but you have to be on a straight side like on a straight can't be on this angle side but uh, yep K2 for the win <laughs>